A men's 100 freestyle S12. Swimmers with a visual impairment. Maxim Varaksa, the world record holder, is in the centre lane. Well, it's going to be a really tight one, this one, isn't it, Paul? It will be. These guys will be very, very fast. World record holder, Varaksa, that record stands at 50.91. 50 seconds for 103.91. Two for all goes in one. Satil in two. Dmitry Saleh has been in good form this week. He goes in three, he could be a threat. Haraksa, well, he was easing back in the heats. He's going to go faster than 53-0. Alexander Nevelin Svetov in lane number five. Stefan Smudgin in lane number six for Russia. In lane number seven, Daniel Simon and Completing the lineup in lane number eight, Omar Font. Well, it was easy qualification, Giles, today in the heats. Someone like Daniel Chufarov over there in lane number one may well be a threat. The world championship bronze medalist, Maxim Varaksa, though, looks very, very comfortable in the centre lane in lane number four. The men's 100 freestyle, S12. Well, old school start from Saleh and Varaksa, both going with the standard grab start from the old days. Before it was a one start rule. Already Varaksa easing out down this first 50, looking very, very comfortable indeed. All of these swimmers will be able to see a maximum of one meter in front of them. That means he'll see the wall for the turn now and has to react to it, and he's over very well indeed. Breeds out the first turn, though, which is a surprise for a swimmer of his quality. But moving up in lane three, Saleh looking very, very strong in the white hand, and also slightly nearer to us is Nevelin Svetov. But Varaksa is controlling this race imperiously, Paul. Oh, Varaksa, it looks like he is just tying up slightly there. Nevelin Svetov and Saleh coming back, but it is Varaksa will take it. In a time of 52.12, Nevelin Svetov, it is, takes the silver just by a tenth of a second from Dimitri Saleh. 52.76 and 52.86, but that looked like that was quite hard going there from Maxim Varaksa. He did yeah. tie up in the closing stages. He did, didn't he? I don't know whether he's tired or he's got a slight fitness problem at the moment, but it wasn't. It wasn't a great finish to this race, it has to be said. He was hoovering in air in the final 10 metres, just couldn't get enough of the stuff. When we've seen him swim in the past, and when we saw his world record swim in the past, Paul, that would have been head down, an absolute beeline for the wall. There we go, he's breathing with three metres to go. Yeah, he was toiling there in the end. Araxa, a breath there, a breath there, a breath there. <laughs> now he puts his head down for the last stroke. And the black hat of Maxim Varaksa. Well, he's the champion again. He didn't have it all his own way. He was pushed in the closing stages by Dimitri Saleh and Alexander Nevelis Feta. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can see it really, really took it out of him. Frightened him a little bit, I think. Varaksa is the champion again for Ukraine, but only just from Alexander Nevelin Svetov and Dmitry Soleil. 